So in the real world, a lot of probabilities are best modeled using unbounded probability density functions. Let me show you an unbounded probability density function. Now this is an unbounded probability density function, and the hint that it's an unprobability density function is here. It's this function when x is greater than or equal to zero. So let me sketch what that looks like. So this is an exponential curve called a decay curve, and it's got an asymptote at uh, y equals zero. So it's asymptotic, which means that it gets closer and closer and closer and closer and closer to the x-axis without ever actually touching the x-axis. That means that the area from here, 0, to here, if it's a probability density function, is equal to 1, but the gap never actually completely closes. We've got some sort of mathematical trickery going on, and for that we really need limits. So I'm going to show it's a PDF first. I'm going to prove that. So... Um, I'm going to have to do it between 0 and infinity. Now, all PDFs are equal to 1 from infinity to negative infinity. It's just that usually our bounds are very specific. So I'm going to say that this is equal to 1, or I'm going to show that it's equal to 1, from infinity to negative infinity. Now, I can narrow that down a little bit, because I can now say that, well, it's uh, we know that the function is when x is less than 0, it's 0. So we're only interested in the first half of this function, which is greater than 0, so from this direction here. So it's between 0 and positive infinity, uh, and we're doing uh, 2e to the negative 2x with respect to x. Uh, but this infinity thing is uh, just a big problem, so we're going to have to deal with that. So limits. The limit as k approaches infinity because we can't do maths with infinity but we can do maths with numbers that are very close to infinity and that's where limits come into it so um, I'm going to do an integral again and just replace that infinity sign with k so now I can be able to sort of sub in a very large number that's kind of like infinity but not really okay 2e to the negative 2x with respect to x okay now I'm going to keep that limit sitting out the front We'll deal with that a little bit later. And now I'm going to integrate that between k and 0. All right, so we get negative e to the negative 2x between k and 0. And now I'm going to sub k in, and I'm going to sub 0 in and subtract 1 from the other. Now, the limit only really applies to the thing with the k in it, which is our first part here. And then I'm subtracting this bit here. Now, this bit here is uh, really easy. e to the negative this 2 times 0, that's a 0 there, uh, is e to the 0, which is 1, which means that that's negative 1. So negative, negative 1, we're going to get like a plus 1 on the end here. Now, what happens here, I wonder? Um, let's put in a very large number for k. So we get negative e to the negative 2 times a million. That's the same as negative 1 on e to the uh, 2 times 1 million. That's 1 divided by an extremely small number, which is very, very close to 0. As that number approaches infinity, our answer will be 0, 0. Finally, we can now show that uh, this function is a PDF, because 0 plus 1 is 1. So the real trick here is dealing with this limit, being able to shove an incredibly large number into there and saying as we approach infinity, we've got zero. We also need to make sure that we're getting our notation nice when we're dealing with limits. Now that was part one. I've shown it's PDF using limits. Now I'm going to actually calculate a probability using limits. So remember the function looks a little something like heading off into space. I want to know what's the probability that x is greater than 1. All right, so I'll just choose a random spot there and say that that's 1. I want to know the area from there, greater than 1. So again, I'm going to have to deal with limits because I'm going off into infinity. So I can say that that is equal to um, from infinity to 1, uh, the integral of 2e to the negative 2x with respect to x. All right, so I can say that that's now equal to the limit as k approaches infinity of k1 to e to the negative 2x with respect to x. Uh, I can now integrate that, and I've already done that over here, so I know how to do it, e to the negative 
2x, and I'm integrating that, that between k and 1, uh, but I need to remember my limit as k approaches infinity. Now, I'm going to put k and 1 into that function, and I get something that looks like this. The limit belongs to this part here. So if I put infinity into here, same way that we got 0 over here, we'll have 0 there, minus, minus, so that's plus e to the negative 2, and e to the negative 2 is the same as 1 on e squared. So my final answer is 1 on e squared, uh, but that's an incredibly strange number for a probability, so I might just type that into my calculator. 1 on e squared is the same as 0 0.1353. So in this unbounded probability density function, the probability that x is greater than 1 is 0 0.1353. So notation to deal with there when it comes to limits. So you really want to make sure that you've written that down as I've written it down, and you've written that down as I've written it down, um, and you're using those limits appropriately.